Okay, so the first thing I wanna go over is um, for those of you who have chosen to alter your neckline. So my shirt is actually a cut according to the pattern. So I normally wouldn't have to do this, but I pretty much alter 90% of my necklines. So this is usually, what I'm about to show you is usually what I do. I wait until this point in my sewing project to measure my neckline or my neck band. So what I would do is lay out my shirt flat like this and then get my fabric tape measure and go around. I like to start at this top corner because it's really easy to know where I started and where I need to end. And I'm just going to measure around my neckline here and get the length that I have going on. So this is 25 and three quarters. And I'm using my phone to record here so I can't show you, but what you would do is you would take this measurement, so I would take 25 and three quarters, so 25.75, multiply that by 0.85. And that's gonna give you 85% of this length. And whatever that comes out to is the length in inches, since I measured in inches, that you are going to be cutting your neck band. So I have mine cut out according to the pattern, but what you would do is get your fabric for your neck band and then measure two inches by the length that you came up with, making sure that your stretch is going that way. And then that's how you would get your, your neck band measurement. That will work for whether you are shortening up your neckline or making it deeper, it's all the same. So now that I have mine cut, I'm gonna go ahead and start by sewing right sides together. My neck band, I have it folded in half right here. And I'm gonna sew these, these together. I'm gonna serge them together. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and attach this. So let's do that. Okay, so off camera, after I went ahead and stitched together the raw edges of my, the raw ends of my neck band, I folded it with my wrong sides together and gave it a really good press with lots of steam. So now I have my neck band ready to attach and how we're gonna do that is start by laying down your neck band so that your seam is in the center, okay? And you can just eyeball this. If you're really worried about it, you can fold it over to check that that seam's in the middle. I'm comfortable just eyeballing it. And what you're gonna do is use that seam to judge where the center is on the front of your neck band, okay? So if these are even, then my seam should be right in the middle of the back. And I'm gonna take a pin to mark the middle of my front. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch this side here, just like this. And see how it gives me that kind of bubble? That's enough space for me to just push a pin right through and mark where that quarter goes. Then I'll do the same thing for this side. Got that little bubble. I'm just gonna push a pin right through. And then if you would like to pin um, this back seam to mark where the center is, you're more than welcome to. But the gist here is that we've now got our neck band divided into quarters. Now that we have our neck band in quarters, we are going to basically apply it, pin it onto our shirt in quarters too. So what you're gonna do is start by either visually or physically marking the center points on the front and the back of your shirt. Um, I usually get away with just guesstimating, but you can fold over your shirt if you would like to double, triple check where to mark, or you don't need to mark it if you're not worried about it. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and mark those with pins. And then you'll start by taking, so this is my back 
seam of my neckband that I marked with this um, pin. So I'm gonna take this and line it up with this back marker pin and then pin them together. Now, make sure that your neckband doesn't get all twisted up. You're going to take your front marker and tuck it behind this front panel so that you have your right sides together and go ahead and pin those together. Then finally, you need your sides divided in quarters too. So how I like to do this is I have my neckband right here. I've just kind of laid my shirt on top of it. And then I'm grabbing my back pin and my front pin and just pulling on them so that it's taut and I can see where they line up. And then you can either fish your fingers to the middle here to pinch them together. I use my teeth most of the time, to be honest, and just bite it <laughs> then lift it up and mark it because I'm a dork, I guess. And then we'll do the same for this side. So here's my neckband. I'm just gonna kind of pull this over top and then pull it nice and taut so we can see where they line up. So now we have our neckband pinned in quarters onto the neckline of the shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the back center pin, okay? And I want you to make sure when you're sewing this that you are keeping these three pieces of fabric lined up really nicely so that it gets perfectly even. If you let them slide around, it's gonna look wonky in the front. It'll be thin in some places, thick in other places, and you don't want that. So just take care to make sure that they are even. And then I'm grabbing the next pin, so the next quarter marker, and pulling so that it's taut, and I'm gonna grab about halfway so that I have a little more control. And I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the camera so that you don't need to watch me sewing for too long. And just keep it nice and even. That's the only thing I care about for you right now. Keep it nice and even so you get a nice, beautiful, professional finish when we turn this thing right side out. When you get to the front of your shirt where the curve is the strongest, it's gonna naturally fall away from each other like this. See how they are not lining up at all? That's just because of the curve. So go ahead and stretch it out and find a distance that's comfortable from the knife and the needle to where you can work it so that your fabric stays, the fabric from the front panel stays aligned with your neckband. And just go slow if you need to. So now that I've met up with my beginning stitches in the back, I'm just gonna go ahead and sew them overlapping a little bit and then turn out my fabric at a 90 degree angle here and then just sew right off of it. And that'll give you a nice finished edge on the back. The last thing I like to do is take my neckline and top stitch right around this, um, this edge right here. I like to put a top stitch right on the outside here to keep this laying flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And if you're on a sewing machine, just do the exact same thing. Use that twin needle or a single needle if that's all you have and just top stitch right over top of that um, 
that seam so that it keeps it lying flat while you're wearing it. Okay, I just wanna show you our beautiful top stitch neckline. 